Hello everybody and welcome back to the new save file. We are jumping in again and what do I want to do this time around? I played as Jacob and Ease out last time and it made me want to cry. Um, I want to unlock more tainted characters, I guess. Hmm. Tainted Lilith would be quite fun to unlock. I still... Tainted Apollyon's pretty fun as well. Let's try and get Tainted Apollyon. He's just a, a real cool dude. We get all the unique locusts and stuff. And this guy, he's fine. Void can be pretty good. It tends to lean in the way of non-YouTuber look um, in terms of the stats it gives me, as opposed to um, the items that I get. Also, why does that baby look like it's just a head that's upside down with a bell on hat? Like a, a bell-shaped hat. That was weird. We got Curse of Blight, so we're not going to know what the hell we're getting. Unless it's a very distinct shape. Um, I do quite like Curse of Blight for that reason. But we are jumping in. And yeah, Jacob and Ease out last time wasn't so good. I have since been on my holiday. I am back from my holiday. Um, I went to the Amsterdam. Uh, that is... I don't know. I'm going to suck it because... Okay, thank God that I did. Shot speed, obviously, I don't care too much about, but it's not terrible. The fire rate is very, very nice. So stat-wise, we're not doing too bad so far. But goddamn, thank God. The biggest issue... With, like, the mixture of Curse of Blight plus Resprite mods is so many vanilla items. I just have no idea what they look like anymore. Um, but yes, I went to the uh, the Dam of Hamsters and it was it was very enjoyable. I was only there for the weekend, so I only really had, like, I had, like, most of Saturday and all of Sunday. And then I, I, I came back this morning. It's Monday now. I'm actually recording this video on the day it's going out because I don't have a backlog right now. Um... And, um, yeah, so that might mean I've, I've had a few days off Isaac, which normally means I play, like, utter stinky. Uh, so we'll see. Um, but yeah, it was really fun. It was really fun. Um, we went to a few of the museums. Um, went to the Sex Museum. That was rather interesting. Went to Ripley's Believe It or Not. Uh, that was also really, really good. Um, and we just kind of explored around and... Ate some good food and stuff. It was it was all around very very nice. Went to this pancake place called Madame Pancake that was honestly one of the best pancake places I've literally ever been to. Also, like as as many people already know, like Amsterdam's very big on their like cycling, so everyone's on bikes rather than using cars mainly. Um, but also their day, especially on the weekend at least, their day starts so late. Like we 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 got up at like nine o'clock on Saturday. And, like, uh, on Sunday, sorry, and went out and got, like, breakfast. And it was dead. It was, like, nobody about. And then by, like, 11, 12 o'clock, the town centre was absolutely rammed. Whereas, where I live, if, if, if I went into town on a Sunday at 9 o'clock, it would be rammed. There would be people fucking everywhere. And I'm not sure if it's like that on weekdays as well, but I, I very much like that. Because um, it means that if you've got important shit to do... Um, ooh, we'll take that. If you've got important shit to do, then, um, you can... Oh, wait. I apologize, just to in interrupt my own story. I just realized I was meant to play as Golem, um, because a new update came out for Fiendfolio very, very recently that added some new stuff to Golem. Um, mainly some new, um, new trading people in his little hub area. So... Please, in the comments, shout at me and remind me to play Golem in the next episode, because I am a dumb. I am a big dumb. I really wanted to play it this episode, because I'm sure you guys are knowing of it and want to see it. Um, also, bad damage there. I really hate these enemies. I really despise them. Oh, for God's sake, you hit me again. Get out of here. Um... But yeah, like, I really like the idea of like, oh, if, you, if you've got important shit to do, you can get up early while it's not busy and do it. But also, it's just more universally accepted that you get to have a lion, which I very much like the idea of. Um, yeah, a little bit annoyed to lose my devil deal there, but honestly, with that room, pretty understandable. But yeah, Fiendfolio got a reasonably big update. I can't remember if I've done a video since that update. I, I, I genuinely can't remember. Um, but he got, like, a new boss that's in the mausoleum, so we'll have to try and go... Uh, not mausoleum, sorry, the uh, Gehenna. But we'll have to try and go over there and see the new boss at some point. It seems to be some new kinky mummy, um, as Fiendfolio likes to do. So we'll, we'll, we'll check that out when we get the opportunity. Um, and yeah, as I said, Golem got some changes as well. Got some new, uh, new boys in his crib, so to say. Um, and I'm sure you guys want to 
see those, and so do I. So we haven't played Golem in a really long while. On it, I'll be honest, the reason I haven't played Golem in a while is he's he's a super fun character that I really enjoy, but he's he's got a lot of mental overhead. Um, like sometimes I'll sort of wake up um, to record Isaac, or I'll just go to record Isaac, and. I kind of like a, a run where I can just kind of switch my brain off and um, and talk and uh, and just get through the run. And Golem and like a few, there's a few other characters that just you can't do that. So I feel like I have to be a little more mentally prepared when I want to go in and play Golem. At least if I want to play him efficiently. Obviously, I have every ability to to play him. Um, him for a crawl space just in case there. Uh, I have every, every ability to play him without um, without playing him optimally, but. I feel like for, for your sake and the, uh, your, your viewing pleasure and also my sake of not getting shouted at for being terrible, it's probably a better idea that I just play him right. Um, so that's kind of the big reason I don't play Golem a ton. But if people do want to see more of him, especially the new update, then I'm, I'm happy to go for it. Enemies killed with spawn friendly poop creep. Okay, actually, that's pretty good. I'll take that. Um, I know I'm not using Void a ton right now, but I, I feel like Void's one of those things that you don't really need to, um, you don't really need to harp on too much in terms of making sure you're constantly getting optimal usage out of it. Um, it's just an added extra. Basically, it just turns bad items into something. Oh, fuck this boss. Oh, really? I was like, fuck this boss, and then the fucking red fire hits me. Oh, you... I might die to this guy. This guy's an absolute shyster. Dude. There's so many flies. Get out of here. This guy's... If I die here, we're just going to play as Golem anyways, I guess. This guy's bollocks. He's actually bollocks. Dude, that explodey one... Stay away from me. Okay. Just about got through that. Fuck me. Not a fan of that jabroni. Ooh, and we get a golden bell. I feel like I have to take that for just the huge speed up we're going to get from it. Um, as much as I would have liked to have probably normally uh, turned that into other stats. Um, also, I've been told that golden actives work basically by just giving the active car battery, which is a pretty, pretty good way of doing it, to be honest. I still don't really know how to feel about the golden items. I really love them as a concept. I think it's a really good idea, but they seem way too common. Like, way, way, way. Oh, for God's sake, as if I got hit by that. God damn it. Okay, we're not getting any angel deals this run, because, um, oh, and we also might die, because I'm on, like, half a heart now. Um... But yeah, like, we've seen, like, one to two every single run since we've, un since we've unlocked them. I don't think... I, I know that, obviously, items are way more common than trinkets, but you definitely can't say the same for golden trinkets. And I, I think, in terms of proportionally how many you see uh, every so many runs, it should be about par with trinkets. So you'd have to... What, what, what I'm guessing has happened is the odds are the exact same as golden trinkets, when in reality that doesn't really work because you see far fewer trinkets than you see items. Um, so we're seeing way more golden items. And, like, it's not like I don't like them and I, and I want to see less of them because I don't like them. I actually really love them, but I think that getting doubles of some items and especially some actives is incredibly powerful. And I don't want to basically artificially just make all runs easier by constantly getting um, a golden item or two every single run, if you know what I mean. Um, oh, for God's sake, I'm playing like trash. I told you that, like, being away for a few days just does things to my brain. It, it, it rots me. Um, oh, my God, three butt bombs this room. Wow. Um, yeah, so I, I, I hope that, at so like, it, it, if they could maybe reduce that. At some point, that would be really nice. Because right now, little, little too common for my taste. But a cool idea nonetheless. But yeah, as, as well, like you've got to you've got to consider that the the power of a golden trinket versus a golden item. There's 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 much 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 higher chance of a golden item being more valuable than a golden trinket. Um, like, much, much more. 
Uh, there's, there's a bunch of golden trinkets that do absolutely nothing, but there's also a bunch of them where their doubled effect is pretty meaningless, or their regular effect is pretty meaningless also. I mean, and you, you can say that for plenty of items as well, but there's so many items like the, the belt, there's just a raw stats that are just so good to get doubled. Um, and then other ones like Brimstone and the like that actually have a specific doubled effect. Um, or like triple shot, things like that. There's, there's, there's a lot of them in that sort of space. You just gotta kind of work around. This run isn't so bad. I'm just still very worried about my current HP. I feel like, okay, getting hit an extra time there. Yeah, y you see, this is why I'm exactly worried about my current HP. Let's play as Golem now, because, um... Actually, uh, I'm like... I don't know. I don't know, because... I want to play as Golem, but like, how the hell do I trink uh, trink it? How the hell do I um thingy this? I I'm I'm gonna stick as this guy. I want to play as Golem, but honestly, uh, how do I thumbnail this correctly to portray the two characters? It's just honestly the having custom thumbnail art for all the characters is both a blessing and a curse. I absolutely love it. I think it adds some real uniqueness to my channel, um, and. I think the art by both uh, Never Named and um, by Skull is just impeccable. It's so, so good. Uh, but at the same time, it does tie my hands on a few things. Like playing new characters as soon as they're available. And um, swapping characters mid-run. And playing the same character multiple episodes in a row. It kind of ties my hands a little bit for things like that. I really hate the way that you've moved there. You've moved into a position that I do not enjoy. Can you, can, can you get the hell out of here? Okay, good. Yeah, um, it's it's a little annoying in that case, but it doesn't matter for the most part, so let's not worry about it. But yeah, I had a feeling there was going to be a death coming just because I'm a, I'm a big fat failure and um, I don't know how to play this game very well. I have like the memory of a goldfish when it comes to this game, essentially, and I realise that that whole goldfish memory thing is bullshit, dude. Walked right into that one. Um, I realise it's bullshit, the, the goldfish memory thing, but it's a saying, so shush. Um... But yeah, like, I, I feel like if I don't... Ooh, $3 bill, hell yes. I feel like if I don't play it for, like, a few days, I just forget nearly everything. Um, and then I have to, like, relearn a lot of stuff again. Um, I will go for this. It's a little bit risky. Don't like your spiders, thank you. Um, but it paid off very nicely. Don't want that red fire... Well, this is a bit of a tricky room here. I'm hoping we get a $3 bill effect that just absolutely ruins this room. So far, not not looking too hot on that front. I kind of like the fact that you can like run enemies like that. Oh, ooh, let that guy explode. Oh, it didn't really work the way I was hoping it would there. I was hoping he'd kind of like let some enemies pass him by and just nuke them right as they walk by. But... Ain't no chance that's happening apparently okay explosivos back again up oh, this is continuum now changes over pretty rapidly sometimes i don't know if there's a specific timer for three dollar bill or not some extra money there goddamn hate the headless boys that don't chase you in rooms like this it's like you just gotta find them you gotta hope you can find them oh we got ghost larry ghost larry is definitely the hardest version of larry just because he spawns I think it's three ads per, uh, per, per, like, version of him. So, like, one ad per two segments, maybe? I can't remember exactly. And also, they can do this and kind of compile on top of each other and spawn multiple at once. It leads to some tricky situations. You've got to kind of kill them one at a time, but it's not always plausible to do that on purpose. So. See, like, I killed a section there and it didn't spawn a ghost, so... It's, I think it's one ghost per two segments. So there should be two more ghosts. Actually, maybe one more ghost in this guy. It depends. Okay, no, two more ghosts. Oh, God, three more ghosts. Get out of here. <laughs> kind of just zoomed them off screen. This is one that we can suck up and we got damage and luck. I'm pretty happy with both of those. Okay, not biddly bad. Not biddly bad. Right. I like our little cute little face we got going right now. Hopefully $3 bill can can carry us damage-wise for a little while. I mean, we did just get a damage up as well from that suck, which helps. But uh, normally $3 bill, because of the tier effects, can kind of augment your damage 
basically to get like a few flaws ahead of the damage curve. Um, obviously, it's it's still random, so you don't know what you're gonna get, and you, it might not always work out that way. But for the most part, it gives you a decent bead on being a little bit ahead of the curve. We'll try and keep that going. I haven't asked a question of the day yet, so I apologize for that. Um, question of the day is, what is like a little holiday, like just just maybe one in your country that you would like to do? What's something somewhere you'd like to go? Some like place or even like let's say what's a museum you'd really like to visit we almost went to the museum of torture as well but we didn't have time that one seemed interesting um the the ripley's museum actually had quite a few um quite a few different medieval torture exhibits that were pretty interesting as well there was one um about uh i can't remember what queen it was now but there was a queen who um who someone accidentally ripped their trousers in front of her and like i think showed their bare ass and sh so she put him in like a, a tiny metal cage that he could only just fit in for 20 years <laughs> i think it was 20 years it was a long time either way anyways it, it, it seemed brutal it might not be quite 20 years i either way seemed seemed very very unfair <laughs> she he, he really got a rough end of the deal oh can you not with the worst room to ever exist. Oh, <laughs> I fucking hate these enemies. They're so easy to dodge, but my fucking feeble brain just cannot fathom. Hello. I was like, hey, let's suck this up. Not a good idea. Not a good idea, but, but getting Proptosis on board here, I like that. Proptosis on board is rather nice. I feel so annoyed to lose my Devil Deal yet again, just because of being a foolish, feeble boy. Um, very, very annoying. But yeah, Proptosis should put us in the green for a while. Um, obviously, I still have to be careful of my current low HP. Apparently, as any character that starts with even slightly lower than normal HP, I just fail at. Uh, do not like you guys at all, because I get hit by you constantly. Yeah, luckily, we got through him. Definitely sucked that up. Oh, range and shot speed. I mean, range isn't bad. Actually, range and shot speed are probably two pretty decent things for Proptosis, I'll be honest. But I'm still... I still rather have fire rate. I mean, come on now. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. I have nothing for you. By the way, if I die again, unfortunately, that's just it. That's... That's all, folks. Unfortunately, sometimes, life ain't fair. And also... I am extremely tired today, so I don't have the energy to, to keep this video really long. Um, because I got back into the UK today, meaning that um, I've been up since about 4am and it's currently 8pm. So I've been up quite a while longer than I normally would be. And I'm quite sleepy. But at the same time, I didn't pre-record any videos, so more fool me, more fool me. Would have been nice to have a rest today, but I committed myself to this and I shall not let you guys down, even if the episode is just me dying twice as a character that you might not want to see. <laughs> That's the way the world works sometimes. But yeah, definitely going to do some golem coming up soon. Sometimes Fire Flare of Weak Tears. Okay, I, I remember this being pretty bad, so I'm just going to do that. And we got damage and speed. That's pretty good. Yeah, I remember I got, I've got. i had that a few times. And even, despite it being a quality 3, the, the few times I've had it, it's just not really done all that much for me. So I'm not going to not gonna bother with it, really. I'll be honest. I'm hoping we can get a Red Heart sometime soon here. Because uh, at the minute, we are lacking. That's a speed upgrade that I very much like, but I don't think I can get to it. Look how small this guy is. What the heck? Careful of these dudes, because they do create quite a minefield for us. It's also very confusing with the watery tile set and the floor. Like, kind of makes it look like there's more tears than there actually is. Just watch the latest episode of the Last of Us TV series. And it was 
very, 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 very good. Really enjoyed it. Just thoroughly enjoying the TV series as a whole anyways, but... Right. Quickly pop in here. Unfortunately, getting let down with our shops here. Um, I guess I'll take the placard anyways. Placard isn't bad, and it could give us a shop fairly soon that gives us HP. You never know. Slightly over um, overcharged HP, but it's HP nonetheless. I say I didn't like my chances getting close to that guy. Okay, this is a room that I could easily die in. Oh, very very close. Okay, there's some health finally. We haven't lost our devil deal here yet either, so let's try and keep that the same. Okay, good, you're dead. Okay, good stuff. We did get one of these hearts. I'll definitely be sucking that up. We got range and shot speed once again, and I will certainly take that as well. Right, let's get gone. Okay, looking at this from a from a perspective of trying to um, trying to unlock that tainted variant, it's not looking super great right now. I'll be honest. I keep forgetting those guys changed. They're a lot more interesting now, but they're certainly more scary. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake, yeah. <laughs> certainly more scary. Well, I need to try and pick up those hearts whenever I can, because these hearts keep kind of kind of go hard. Really interesting room design here. I like this. Ah, oh, I just missed it. Needs to be way quicker on that. Way quicker on the draw. There you go. Got one. Dude, what the hell? Wasn't expecting that. No, thank you. This room's rough with the redesign of these enemies. Like, really rough. Okay, here's the brains. Yeah, the redesign of these dudes makes that relatively more scary. I don't like this bubbler here either. I'm uh, having trouble getting past that. Okay, we just about got through that without too much trouble. It was definitely a scary one. Okay, I'm not liking the big guy in the back. I got, I lost my fucking heart thing as well. God damn it. Definitely gonna suck that up. More damage. We've got we've got damage three times already, and we've got a lot of range. So honestly, for Proptosis, this hasn't been so bad at all. Hello, hello. Okay, that ain't bad. I mean, there's a very unlikely chance that we end up being able to afford that, but the Mitre would be pretty good for us if we could manage to get round to it. I mean, we might as well check in here because we do have unlimited keys right now. Exactly nothing we want. Goofy Brian Griffin being hung up there. So while we've got Herming, this room is fairly easy. The Eternal Heart is very, very welcome. I'm also going to pop this strength card here to make this go by a bit quicker. Oh, I still hate that. That is something I would love to see a mod fix. The fact that he spawns enemies under him rather than above him. It's such horse shit sometimes. I'm going to suck that up as well. More range and shot speed. It's such horse shit. Like, he had a poot. Like, that pooter I had absolutely no idea was there. That's the wrong item, dude. Back to square one with our HP, unfortunately. Literally back to exactly in the situation we were at before. Okay, there. We can manage, especially now we've got more damage and ability to, to kill. It shouldn't be that bad. I'm just, basically at the minute, I'm just pretty worried, like, about trying to do our, um... Oh, that was close. About doing, trying to do our beast fight with this setup, like, that we have right now. Also, we still have yet to find a trinket to drop, so... 
which is kind of rare. Ooh, we'll, uh, we'll come back to that because I don't... I mean, I suppose, actually, one, one minute, let me let me go back and check through that room again, because I did see a reroll machine, but I didn't really consider it. I also got hit there, lovely. What the hell? So what's the point? <laughs> this is dumb. You, you can't use the reroll machine. I'm just going to suck that up. More range, more luck. I don't know if the placard is affected by luck at all. I am going to assume... That it is. I feel like it would make sense. Oh, god damn. Some of these enemies, like... Oh, I shouldn't have picked that up. Some of these enemies, the way that they're redesigned is so fucking cool. But god damn, does it make some of the vanilla rooms or, like, Fiend Folio rooms significantly harder. Also, very happy to get that burn heart there. Very nice. Good... Nord Leaf, unfortunately, doesn't do much for me. I can't be asked with this trick here, so there's a little trap. I guess I'll take these books in. Why not? Why wouldn't I, I guess? Oh, I didn't mean to buy that bomb. God damn it. It's fine. Extra luck. Okay, luck-wise, we're, we're, we're doing pretty good. If we can get anything else that's affected by luck, that would probably be quite nice. But yeah, that's doing as well right now. You see, this is why I'm annoyed that I just spent that money on the bomb. I spent 8 cent on a bomb, and then immediately an item comes along that would be pretty darn good for us to grab. I mean, there's a chance we still be able to afford it, but... I think it's fairly low. I don't think the chances are particularly high. Okay, no, actually it could happen. Just don't get hit by this guy too many times. Also kill these guys before they steal my money. I mean, that definitely makes things work a little better for us. Okay, thank you. That makes placard way more viable. Especially if it's affected by luck, this should hopefully give us a good yield. Unfortunately, because the item was spawned before we got Steam Sale, I think it wasn't affected. Unless it just generally isn't affected anyways, which would be a little upsetting, but kind of understandable. I feel like Steam Sale could kind of cheese um, the way that that works, I guess. But also, it's kind of odd to see an item not on sale while you have Steam Sale. That's not normally a thing. Oh, the key again, wow. Adversary here shouldn't be too bad. We are killing stuff at an alarming rate right now. Another, we're getting lots of items. Shot speed and range once again. Honestly, I would hate the stats that we're getting right now if it wasn't for the fact that we have Proptosis. Like, the fact that we can reach a tier to nearly the other side of the room with proptosis is pretty good mainly because it just means that we can stay reasonably close with um okay there you go finally the half price now stay reasonably close with um with still getting most of the damage upgrade we should be getting i'm i'm a little worried we're not gonna get a trinket in time another luck upgrade wow uh, yeah, I'm a little a little worried at this point that we're not going to get a damage upgrade. Uh, damage upgrade, god damn it. Um, trinket in time, because we just haven't seen any yet. Unless I'm stupid and I've just missed a few, which is certainly plausible. I could have uh, found a few really early in the run that I just didn't take for some unknown reason. Restock. Restock's kind of an interesting one. I'm going to grab it just because it might work with placard, which is an interesting concept. But we might have to change the tune of this run if we don't get the um, the trinket we were hoping for. I mean, I could still go and do a beast run regardless. There's nothing stopping me there. I can't remember what the box boys do. I know they show that R, so I can't remember anything other than that. There's a double soul heart there. That's... It's kind of a big fuck you. That's 
Top hat. Haunted Rose is pretty nice. I might go and bomb our donation machine if we get the opportunity. Yeah, there's no way for me to get to that, unfortunately. Actually, oh wait, there is. No, I'm stupid. I can just do this. It's definitely worth two bombs to grab that. And we get some rock spiders, which is pretty nice. Right, away we go. Health is definitely looking a little more on the on the brighter side now. Come on, you. You know you want to pop that little head up for me. Thank you. Unfortunately, this man does... Oh, God. Does do stuff with trinkets, but sadly... Does not have a trinket for me. Flatstone. Not a great item, but I'll take it. Yeah, he does stuff with trinkets, but he doesn't give any trinkets. I think this might be the, one of the first times I've ever had this happen, you know. Where I've been trying to go the beast path and I did I just didn't find a trinket for the run. Very rare. But yeah, Flatstone is one of those items that... It's not amazing, but I think with Proptos it's kind of interesting because the splash damage does deal damage. Ooh, I like that red sort of effect there. Tough love with the amount of luck we have is really, really nice. Crack that open as well. Just check. Just a battery. Lovely. Teleports the player to a library. Oh, really? The problem is, I can't take my active with me, can I? Because that would be super nice. And I swear last time I used this, it crashed my game. So give me a hot minute to just exit this room and escape, continue to save the floor. Just so if it does crash, it's not, I'd have to replay the whole floor. Um, but this could be a, a, really, a really fun active to use. Right, let's grab it. Yeah, sadly we can't bring our uh, thingy. Okay, no. It just did the exact same thing that happened last time. And fucking screwed me. Okay. I forgot about that. Thanks, game. <laughs> yeah, I forgot that that's exactly what happened last time as well. Don't know why. Not really sure. It seems like a really cool item. Doesn't fucking work. Just instantly deletes all the books. Wasted a bit of my money there, but... I, I knew it did something. I thought it was Crash. Clearly it was not. Unfortunately, it's looking like trinket chances are very low. Also, our thingy room here is a little bit busted. But we'll open up and check what's in there anyways. Yeah, that's not a tainted treasure, is it? Not a tainted treasure game. I think that happens if you exit out and start up again in a floor that has a tainted treasure room. I'm pretty sure that's why that does, why that happened. I can't be 100%, but I remember something like that. I'm going to go to the beast path anyways, I think. We are going to make boss rush as well, which I wasn't expecting. Holy shit. You see how many souls just went into that fucking rock? That's a lot of stuff. Okay. The damage up is nice, but I honestly think this is better because it can apply the weakening curse. Kingpin plus this guy is a horrible, horrible wave. I think that just ended Kingpin's life. Ow. Taking a lot of unnecessary damage right now. Don't worry about it though. We should be able to kill most of the enemies 
pretty fucking fast. I think the ghosts are based on our damage as well, which means they're doing a, a bang up job too. So I think, yeah, we've got a few good books in there now, right? Would have been nice to add an extra one to the pile via our library card, whatever it was called. But sometimes you don't get what you want. Got to remember as well, we're firing teeth shot. Teeth shot? Tooth shots? Toothy shots every now and again. And they will, they will demolish because they're three times damage. On top of the, all the damage we're already getting from Proptosis, which I believe is also three times damage. Also, I didn't touch Monster Man well before picking it up, which means I didn't get Buff Worm. My bad. Baby Bender. Frail's out here doing some business. Honestly, those ghosts absolutely slap. We haven't even used our Giga Bombs yet. They're still available. There seems to be like one permanent ghost as well. Like, I don't know why, but these ghosts aren't disappearing. Unless that's just why they're doing so much damage. Like, there's like 10 of them there, all on top of each other. Um, and they're just never disappearing. That might be the case. Maybe Haunted Rose gives you permanent ones for the rest of the room. Which, in obviously the case of this, is just absurdly good. I think that might be what it is, you know. Yeah, because these ghosts, there's so many of them, they don't seem to be disappearing and they're piling up. Like, let's just let's just let these ghosts come over here. Okay, I should have should have known that was gonna happen, shouldn't I? Yeah, there's just like an amalgamation of ghosts here that just, <laughs> just insta-kills anything. Way faster than we can kill anything. Go, my ghosty friends. They're so slow, but goddamn. When they hit. <laughs> Look at that. It's annihilated. Yeah, we're getting a bunch of familiars out of using this. So it's pretty good. You again, of course. A bit of extra money's good. Stop getting hit. I mean, the ghosts are good to keep adding them up, but really ought to stop getting hit. Really no need to be getting hit as much as I am. For, for a brief second there, I, spit pl I split pin into multiple segments. I've taken way more damage here than I have any right to ever take. Walk into my ghosts. Krampus, you can't escape the ghosts. They will get you one way or another. There you go. Rotten baby adds to the pile. Why the hell not? And then we can full card out here. We do lose a bit of damage here, of course, from the negative. But we've actually got the Polaroid unlocked now as well, which is nice. Right. We got a trinket. Yes. Okay, that's a kicker bomb. Oh, shit. We got a trinket, baby. I was... Fi that's kind of why I was like, let's stick on this path. Because we, we have one more chance to make it work. Still a little worried about my HP. But now that I know my ghost stack, if I can get enough HP, the boss fight is actually going to be just so easy. Get out of here, boy. I don't know what I'm going to use my other Gigabomb for. I'll tell you what I'm going to use it for. I'm going to completely forget I have it and use it on something mundane like a Tinted Rock or Secret Room. That is exactly what's going to happen. Contagion, I will buy. Unfortunately, restock does not work on those. I was hoping it would, but it doesn't. There's another trinket there as well, just in case the first one wasn't enough. Need to find our item room. There's our boss room. What the hell is this? There's like a little machine in the middle. Cool. Right, go find our item room real quick. Really hoping we can 
plot on some HP here. I'm actually really happy for the money because we're probably going to get quite a few placard um, plays throughout the rest of the floors available. I also think Contagion's really good for uh, the Ascent. Very annoying when the item room is miles away, but there you go. <sighs> I told you I would. I told you I'd use it for something mundane. It's just, it's so, like, it's so easy to forget. I, I kind of wish there was also another mod that, <laughs> that you could bind them to a different key. But that would just cause problems, I guess. But it would be nice. Would be nice. Okay, that's where Contagion... That's where Contagion plays its... Shows its real value. Guppy's head. No point sucking it up because it's a one-room active. It's not going to do much for us. I'll grab it just in case somehow the Guppy dream comes to fruition, but I doubt it somehow. Um, we will grab the Eden's Blessing there, I think. It's a nice bit of fire rate up for us, but also... Means that the next run is a little bit easier too, and we will get the hell out of here. Let us go. Let us go. Oh, careful of the red blocks. Right, make sure to go back to our item room and grab that trinket. Or the red uh, red cracked key, should I say. I spent it. It's gone. Just get over it. That guy's gonna brimstone. Leave him to do that. Okay. I'm really hoping for placard pulls and um and HP on this route up. Placard. We, we, what we could do if we wanted to is we could farm it a little bit and do more rooms than we necessarily have to. There you go, lovely. Um, to try and get it to go. Like, like some of these rooms will be fairly easy. I reckon we should try them, try do them extra. Because we could get some HP, like a burn heart. There you go. Um, and we could also get some procs on placard. Don't know what this enemy is. Very scared by it. <laughs> Look like a big one of those um those charge draining flies. Good, good. That is a saw the keeper, which isn't very good unless we get a lot of placard pulls, but we'll see. Better than to not have it, I guess. Means we've got four eight four items worth of money right now. Okay, sadly nothing so far. Kind of had a feeling this would happen. That I'd get an opportunity with an item like this to get loads of stuff and then it actually turns out it isn't affected by luck and I was getting lucky on the floors where I couldn't afford anything. <laughs> I am going to do the extra rooms where I can. Just especially on these easier floors. Maybe I'm not, not on basement 1 and 2 where it gets a little harder. But just the chance for a, a pretty decent item that, or just some HP to buy is too good to pass up. These guys, I'll tell you what, are a, kind of a kind of a menace. They move around at such high speeds and fire so many bouncy shots. It's kind of difficult. There you go. And we got double tap to link to an enemy. Linked enemies are champ. Maybe what we can do is we can go like that and then suck. Yeah, we suck that item up um, and gain some stats out of it. I think we gain fire out of that one. Um... Which is not a bad idea, because that item, I don't think is going to be too super useful for the fight, but we still get some stats that could be really useful. I get most of the money back there, lovely. We'll be fine without you. Fortune telling machine would be pretty good to get some soul heart health, but I'm, I'm kind of insistent now. On placard being our savior, I'm gonna I'm gonna play it as if it is. 
There's more. I got me. God damn it. I will do this because we might, we're likely to get more money out than we put in. Or we're able to get a D20. Don't know if D20 could be good or not. One of these is likely to hit me, right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay, we are losing health right now. We did get bravery. Uh, which is actually 30% damage increase against the boss, so that's pretty darn good. So far, not too bad. I'm still just, yeah, worried that my HP is going to keep going down at this rate. I'll come back for that chest. I just don't want to deal with that attack. It's actually pretty decent. Lose four coins and pick up a heart. Why not take that for now? Contagion's still proving it's worth right now. Told you that Contagion would be really good on these rooms specifically. In the Ascent, because there's just so many close quarter low, low HP enemies. Damn it. This room is treacherous as fuck. Come on, placard. Don't be a bitch. Oh, we got a crawl space there. Nice. Placard's been a real doofus right now. I'm just going to suck that up. Right. Last few floors to get some goodness. Health really isn't very good right now. Holy shit. Did not like the way that he did that. Hey, that's really good, actually. I will definitely take that. I would have liked the look penny as well, but that's pretty good. We'll open up the filing cabinet. Some more keys. Is what it is, I guess. Yeah, the extra fire rate there is super, super nice. Don't even know why I checked in there. That was weird. It's like a reaction reactionary thing, I think. Okay, don't want to bother with one of those chests right now. Dire chests, are they called? I think something like that. Come on, come on, come on, game. Just a few more. Another one of these guys, what the hell? Our luck is helping us get more drops and stuff. We got damn tech X. Damn tech X. We got gold head. Okay. Really not super happy with how this is going. Damage wise, we are slapping. But it's only gonna take a few bad hits in the fight to ruin everything. Okay, contagion. It's it's what you love to see. Like, the perfect use case of Contagion right there. Hey, that's really good. A Soul Heart and chance to uh, negate damage. Gotta say, I like that a lot. Extra money, good, good. Hoping for, like, two more placards out of all of this. Come on. You can do it for me, game. Just two more. Two soul heart boys here. Don't know what they do. I'm gonna guess they give me a soul heart eventually, but I don't know when. Two pretty rough enemies here. Okay, there, there's the two soul hearts.
Definitely an annoying enemy there. Okay. Health is in a significantly better spot now. I was not expecting it to th my tune to change so quickly. Even after taking that hit, I'm still very happy with where we stand. Right, come on. Two more placards on the last floor. You know, you know you can do it for me. It would be so easy for you. It would be so easy. God damn it, game. Easy, what the hell? Got damn ghosties everywhere. These fat guys are pretty interesting enemies. So many different ghost based fellas pop out of his asshole. Going the extra mile for you, Isaac, as a game in, in total. Come on, reward me. Extra mile is not being rewarded currently. And it saddens me deeply. Not even one placard. Not even one. Wow. Anyways, let's skibbly hop to the next floor. Sad to see, but it's just kind of how it goes. That is pretty good, actually. More luck is good. More range is good. The soul heart's nice. Not as useful, but bombs actually are pretty good because we can stack up ghosts with bombs. Unlock our heart. Empty hearts. Very nice. And, of course, the man himself. And then here. I think this will give us a damage up. Please say it does. Yes, it did. Nice one. We also got Yes Mother, which obviously is pretty useless, but there you go. Right. This first phase shouldn't be too bad at all. Did get hit there, but it's fine. And the TV is dead. Good, good. Remember, we get like a holy mantle and taken up to, I think, 7 HP on the next phase as well as getting plus 2 damage, so that would be too bad for that either. Excuse me, why aren't I hitting this guy right now? Um, can someone explain to me why he's taking literally no damage? What? Um, my tears aren't dealing damage to this guy, like, at all. Um, why does he have so much health? What's happened here? Um, I'm, like, almost unable to hit this guy. I might be dead here, because I think this is broken. I mean, I achieved my goal of getting the character unlocked, but... Yeah, I don't know what's happened here. Um, I'm unable to damage him by the looks of things. Like, I've, I've managed to do a little bit of damage, but, like, not much. Like, even the ghosts... It, it seems to be that they still think the TV is the enemy. Yeah, like, what the hell's going on right now? Never had this before. Like, even a bomb's doing nothing. Like, I am dealing damage to him occasionally. But it's like, it's like most tiers aren't even hitting. It's like he was just given like 999 boss armor or something. Yeah, I think, I think we're dead. 
like the these guys are still going for the TV look, which makes me think that there's some sort of glitch in the game thinking that the TV is still the main enemy. So his hitbox isn't correct or something. I mean, these ghosts should be chewing his ass out so much right now, and they're just not. Sad times. What a weird end to the run, but I hope you guys enjoyed regardless. It was a fun one. Um, kind of just is as it is. Sometimes this is just the way the cookie crumbles and Isaac, especially modded. There's nothing really you can do to, uh, to stop it, but there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.